dear students, welcome back to my class. And for today, we will have another lesson about quadratic equations. Remember, on my previous video, we discussed the definition of quadratic equation and its examples as well. So, for this video naman, aalamin natin kung paano natin isusulat ang ating quadratic equation in standard form. Another, we will be able to know how can we illustrate quadratic equations in real life situations. So these are the things that you will know. Our learning competency is from the MELC number one, and that is still the same on the first video that I had. It's about illustrate or illustrating quadratic equation. For the knowledge, you will give the steps in transforming quadratic equations in standard form. For the skills, you need to write quadratic equation in standard form. And for the attitude or values, you will appreciate how quadratic equation is illustrated in real life. Let's start! Bago natin simulan yung ating topic, i-recall muna natin yung standard form ng ating quadratic equation. We all know that the standard form of quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Where a, b, c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. We also have ax squared as our quadratic term or ito yung may exponent na 2 sa variable niya or yung may highest exponent, ang tawag natin is quadratic term followed by the linear term. Yung linear term naman natin is having a one exponent na variable. At Yung pangatlong term is yung constant term. Sa constant term naman, number lang yung nakasulat. At papansin ba na ang ating quadratic equation or standard form natin is always equal to zero. Okay, always remember this. Standard form of quadratic equation is equal to zero. It must be equal to zero. So let's see. Again, this is the standard form. We have to keep this um, equation in our mind. Okay, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Example is x squared plus 3x minus 28 is equal to zero. Do you think this quadratic equation is written in standard form? Let's see. Tignan muna natin ano ba yung unang-unang term na dapat nakasulat sa ating quadratic equation. Yes, dapat una natin isusulat ang merong squared na exponent na variable. So yung tinatawag natin quadratic term. So dito ba sa example natin? Nauuna ang quadratic term. Okay, nakita natin, di ba? The first term written is the quadratic term. So, tama yung position. May quadratic term. How about the next one? Ito, 3x. So, dapat ito ay yung ating linear term or yung merong variable na ang exponent lang ay 1. So, tama, di ba? Okay. So, tama din ang position ni linear term. How about si constant term o yung number lang? Nasa pangatlong term siya. Obviously, makikita naman natin na tama rin yung position ni constant term. Nasa pangatlo siya. Si negative 28. Tapos, tignan natin kung equal nga ba siya sa 0. Okay. Yes. Our equation is equal to 0. Therefore, this example is written in standard form. Okay? How about this one? 
3x minus 2x squared is equal to 7. Do you think this is written in standard form? Tignan natin yung unang term na nakasulat. Okay, 3x. Da tama ba na si 3x ang una? Okay, hindi. Sabi ko nga kanina, ang unang-unang term na dapat na nakasulat ay si quadratic term or yung merong 2 na exponent sa variable. Nasaan yung may 2 na exponent sa ating variable? Okay, nap napansin nyo? Nandito siya sa pangalawang term na nakasulat. So, ibig sabihin... Dahil hindi niya sinunod yung ating standard form, syempre, ang tawag natin dito ay quadratic equation written, but, uh, written not in standard form. Ang tanong, papaano natin ngayon isusulat to sa standard form? Ayan ang goal natin sa video na to, tama? So, tignan natin. Nakita na nga natin dito sa ating given na yung 3x ang nauna o yung linear term na tinatawag. Sinundan ng quadratic term. Kaya sa palagi nyo, anong dapat na gawin dyan? Okay, so ang gagawin lang naman natin dyan is to interchange these terms. Okay, ayan si C. Nasa labas din si C ng equal sign. Napansin nyo rin, hindi siya equal to zero. So, Paano kaya natin siya gagawing equal to zero? Okay, not standard form. So, ang ginawa lang natin dito, mapapansin niyo, pinag-exchange lang natin ng position yung negative 2x at saka yung positive 3x. So, ganun lang. Kasi nga, diba, ang goal natin is to write the equation in standard form. So, ang gawin lang natin, kunin lang natin or hanapin lang natin yung term na may squared na variable. Tapos, yun yung isulat natin na unang-una. Kaya, dito, una nating sinulat ngayon si negative 2x squared followed by the linear term. Ito yun, si 3x. Sinulat ko lang din siya dito. Kung baga pinagbaliktad ko lang sila ng pwesto. Pero papaano to si 7? Paano natin siya gagawing 0 sa palagay ninyo? Okay. Natatandaan nyo ba yung tinatawag nating addition property of equality? Paano ba yung ginagawa? Ang, ang gagawin natin sa APE or addition property of equality... Iisip tayo or tignan natin ano yung opposite ni 7 or kabaliktaran niyang number, inverse niyang number, para maging zero itong ating other side of equation. Okay. Nakikita nyo nga rito. We will add negative 7 to both sides. Ma'am, bakit po negative 7 ang ginamit natin? Kasi nga, negative 7 yung kabaliktaran or opposite ni positive 7. Pag pinag-add natin ang 7 and negative 7, ang magiging sagot ay 0. Dahil magkaiba sila ng sign, minus, then same number, ibig sabihin nga, the answer is 0. Ah, kung naglagay tayo ng 7 dito, Sa ating right side, gano'n din dapat sa left side of our equation. At mapapansin nyo, meron din tayong 7 na nilagay dito. Okay, tignan na natin kung magiging 0 na ba. So, 7 plus negative 7, 0. Okay, so, negative 2x squared plus 3x minus 7 is equal to 0. Ayan. So, tama na yung position niya, di ba? Nauuna na si ax squared, sunod na si bx, tapos sumunod si constant term. So, tama na kaya siya? Okay. Napansin nyo, yung ating ax squared ay negative. Eh, ang sabi, dito, ang ating ax squared must not be negative. So, paano natin matatanggal itong negative niya dito? Kasi dapat positive to eh. ba? 
So, we will multiply all the terms to negative 1. So, i-multiply natin lahat sa negative 1, lahat ng term, negative 1 times sa negative 2x squared. Obviously, nagiging positive na siya. Itong si positive 3x magiging negative 3x. Tapos, negative 1 times negative 7, positive 7 na. Or sa madaling sabi, kunin niya lang lahat ng kabaliktaran nitong mga terms natin. Or yung inverse nila. Kung negative, magiging positive. Kung positive, magiging negative. Tignan natin. Ayan na. So, yung kaninang negative 2x squared, naging positive 2x squared na. Yung positive 3x, naging negative 3x. Tapos, yung negative 7, naging positive 7 na siya. Then, equal to 0. So, sa palagay nyo ba? Is it uh, in standard form na? Okay, yes. This is now in standard form, kaya pwede na nating ma-identify ang ating A, B, and C. Ang ating A is 2, ang ating B is negative 3, and ang ating C is positive 7. Let's have another example. How about this one? x times the quantity of x plus 6 is equal to negative 5. Paano natin to may susulat in standard form? Okay, tama kayo. Kailangan muna natin kunin yung product. Get the product first by applying the distributive property of multiplication. It distribute lang natin yung ating monomial here yung x natin outside the quantity to our binomials. Sige, tignan natin. Ayan, x times x. Multiply natin si x dun sa first term ng ating binomial. x times x. The answer is x squared. Then, multiply naman natin si x sa second term ng ating binomial and that is 6. x times 6, we have positive 6x, then just copy negative, uh, equal to negative 5. Is it in quadratic uh, standard form na ba? Yes, hindi pa. Sabi ko nga, dapat ang ating equation ay equal to 0. Pero ito, sa nakikita natin, hindi siya equal to 0. Paano natin gagawin equal to 0 to? Yes, we will apply the APE or the addition property of equality to make the equation equal to zero. Ano ba yung kabaliktaran ni negative 5? Yes, ang kabaliktaran ni negative 5 ay positive 5. So, i-add natin si positive 5 sa both sides, uh, both equations, both sides of the equation. Kaya, ano na ang magiging answer natin? Makikita nga natin, naglagay na tayo ng 5 dito. At, negative 5 plus 5, the answer is 0. Cancel out na natin yun. Kaya, ito na yung ating magiging equation. x squared plus 6x plus 5 is equal to 0. Is it in standard form? Okay, obviously this is uh, already in standard form since we write the quadratic term or the x squared in the first term. Then we have the linear term, then the constant term, and then ang ating equation ay equal na sa zero. We can now identify the values of a, b, and c. a is equal to 1, b is 6, c is 5. Let us have now our third example. We have the given 5 minus 2x squared is equal to 6x. Anong mapapansin nyo? Hindi rin siya nakasulat sa standard form. Kasi sabi ko nga, dapat ang unang-unang isusulat ay si quadratic term or yung merong 2 na exponent sa variable. Kaya anong gagawin natin dito? So, we will interchange the terms. Yung term ng quadratic term at saka itong si 5 o yung ating constant term. Pagpalitin lang muna natin sila. 
Ayan. Naging negative 2x squared plus 5. Then copy equal to 6x. Ano ang susunod na step na gagawin na natin? We need to make this equation equal to 0. Kaya we will apply the addition property to make the equation equal to 0. Ano ang opposite or inverse ni positive 6? Yes, the inverse is the negative 6. So we will add negative 6 to both sides of our equation. Ayan, nagkaroon tayo ng negative 6x dito sa unang part ng ating equation, sa unang side. And then here, we also have negative 6x. Then simplify natin to. 6x plus negative 6x, the answer is 0. Kaya ito na yung ating magiging answer. Negative 2x squared minus 6x plus 5 is equal to 0. Si 6x, itong si negative 6x, nilipat ko lang siya dito sa pangalawa. Diba nga, sabi nga natin, ang linear term dapat nasa pangalawa. So nilipat ko lang siya dito sa pangalawang term. Okay, negative 6x tapos si 5 o yung constant term natin, nilagay ko na dito sa dulo. And then, this equation now is equal to 0. Is it in standard form na ba? Mm, yes. Hindi pa rin kasi napansin nyo ba, yung ating x squared or ating quadratic term ay negative. Katulad ng ginawa natin sa unang example, imumultiply lang natin both sides to negative 1. Or kunin natin yung kabaliktaran ng bawat terms, yung inverse ng bawat terms. Sige, tignan natin. So, negative 1 times negative 2x squared, the answer is positive 2x squared. Then, negative 1 times negative 6x, we have positive 6x. Then, negative 1 times positive 5, we have negative 5. Then, equal to 0. So, kinuha lang natin yung mga kabaliktaran nila. Yung negative, naging positive. Yung negative, positive. Then, yung positive, naging negative. So, tama na ba? Nakaka-standard form na ba siya? Yes. This is now in standard form. So, kunin na natin ang ating A, B, and C. A is 2, ito siya si 2, katabi ng quadratic term, numerical coefficient niya. And then yung B, ayan, si 6 is equal to 6. And then si C is equal to negative 5. Next example is this one. 6 minus 2x plus 3x squared is equal to 0. Kita naman natin, hindi siya standard form. Ang gagawin lang natin is to interchange the terms. Piliin natin isulat muna yung ating quadratic term or yung may x squared. Ito. Followed by our linear term, then yung ating constant term. So pagpapalitin lang natin si quadratic term at si constant term. Yung ating bx o yung ating linear term, tama naman yung pwesto niya, di ba? Nasa second term siya. So wala na tayong gagalawin kay negative 2x. Ayan, napagbaliktad na natin. Nauna na nating isulat ngayon si 3x squared minus 2x, then plus 6 equal to 0. Tapos na ba to? Ganun lang kadali? Yes. Wala na tayong babaguhing mga sign or whatsoever. Hindi na natin a-applyan ng APE, additional addition property of equality, kasi equal to 0 naman na ang ating equation. So tama, this is now in standard form. 
The answer is 3x squared minus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0. Ngayon, alamin na natin yung a, b, and c. Yung a natin is 3. Yung b, ito, negative 2. And ng ating c is positive 6. Let us have more examples. We have now 2 times the quantity of z squared minus 2z is equal to 5. As you can see, we need to find the product. And mapapansin nyo, ibang variable din yung ginamit ko. Ma'am, pwede po ba yun? Yes, we can use any letters as our variable. So, dito sa case na to, z naman ang ginamit kong variable. And we need to get the product first. By applying the distributive property, we will multiply 2 to the first term of our binomial, 2 times z squared, we have 2z squared. Next, multiply 2 to the second term of our binomial, 2 times negative 2z, the answer is negative 4z, and just copy neg uh, equal to 5. We need to make this equation equal to zero to make it standard form. Tama? Paano natin gagawing equal to zero itong ating 5? Yes, we will apply the addition property of equality to make the equation equal to zero. We will add the inverse of positive 5 to both sides. What is the inverse of 5? Yes, that is negative 5. We will add negative 5 to both sides of our equation. We'll have here this one, negative 5 here. And we also add negative 5 on the other side. And when we add 5 plus negative 5, maka-cancel out na yan dahil 0 na siya. And we have now our equation 2z squared minus 4z minus 5 is equal to 0. Is it in standard form na? Okay, yes. Standard form na po tayo. Kaya, we will now identify the a, b, and c. a is 2, b is negative 4, and c is negative 5. Okay, kaya ganun lang kasimple na mag-transform or mag-write ng ating equation into standard form. Always remember our uh, formula or our equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Tapos, yun nga, um, kailangan lang nating kunin muna yung product kung nakafactor siya or apply the addition property of equality so that our equation is uh, equal to zero. Ngayon, tignan naman natin, ano yung mga real-life illustration ng quadratic equation? Paano ba natin ito ma-apply in real life? I have here problems na magagamit pa rin natin si quadratic equation. Tignan natin. This is an example of a problem. The length of a swimming pool is 8 meter longer than its width. And the area is 105 square meters. Ito yung ating problem. Yung length daw ng swimming pool is 8 meter longer than its width. So mas mahaba siya ng 8 meter sa width. At ang given area is 105. Paano natin ito isusulat in quadratic equation? Let's say x is our width. Yun yung ating magiging x. Ito siya. And then our length is x plus 8. Kasi nga, mas mahaba ng 8 meters sa width. So, x plus 8. Tapos, ang area or kabuuan ng ating swimming pool is 105 meters. We all know that the formula in finding the area is length times width. Kaya, isubstitute lang natin yung mga values. Ano yung area? A. Area is 105. Ano yung length? 
Ayan, nandito sa given natin. Length is x, quantity x plus 8. Then, multiply by our width. Ito yung ating width. We have x. 105 is equal to quantity x plus 8 times x. Just copy or bring down 105 is equal to multiply x to x. We have x squared, then 8 times x, we have positive 8x. Then, i-arrange lang natin into standard form. And our answer will be x squared plus 8x minus 105 is equal to 0. Nakita natin, di ba, na yung ating problem ay naging quadratic equation. Kaya pwedeng pwede talaga nating ma-apply ang quadratic equation in our real life. Another real life problem is this. Your company is going to make frames as part of a new product they are launching. The frame will be cut out of a piece of steel and to keep the weight down, the final area should be 26 centimeters squared. The inside of the frame has to be 11 cm by 6 cm. What should be the width x of the metal beam? So, intindihin lang natin muna yung problem. Ang pinag-uusapan natin dito is yung frame. So, meron frame na ilalaunch as a new product. Tapos, ang inside frame o yung sukat ng loob nitong frame, yung inside square dito, is 11 cm by 6 cm. And yung final area daw dapat ay maging 28. Ngayon, what should the width x of the metal be? We will let x here as our border. Yung border ng frame natin. At kung kukunin natin yung total width, say for example nung length, nitong haba nitong length. Ayan. 11, simula rito hanggang dito, 11. Then we have x here and we have x here. Kaya kapag tinranslate natin yung length nitong ating frame, we will say 11 plus 2x yung ating length. Bakit 2x? Kasi nga x plus x, isang x, and then isa pang x dito, para makuha yung isang buong haba, edit 2x na siya. Tapos simula rito hanggang dito, 11. Kaya 11 plus 2x yung ating length. Ngayon, yung ating width is ito. Simula rito hanggang dito is 6. Meron tayong x dito, and then x pa rito. Kaya 2x din. Dadagdagan din natin siya ng dalawang x. 2x din. Kaya yung width natin is 6 plus 2x. Paano natin ngayon isusulat yan into quadratic equation? The area is length times width. Yung formula. Kaya let us just substitute the values. Length is 11 plus 2x. Times yung ating width, 6 plus 2x. Apply the FOIL method. Naalala ninyo? FOIL method, first term, outer term, inner term, and the last term to get the product. 11 times 6, we have 66. Followed by the outside term, 11 times 2x, we have 22x. Followed by the inner term, 2x times 6, we have 12x. And the last term is 2x times 2x, we have 4x squared. And of course, let us simplify this. Combine natin yung like terms. Ang like terms natin is 12x and 22x. Pwede pa natin simplify. At iayos na natin into standard form. Una natin isulat si 4x squared 
Ito yun. Then, 22 plus 12. We have 34x. And then, pinakalas natin susulat si constant term. So, nakita ninyo, yung ating problem ay na-illustrate natin or ginamitan natin ng quadratic equation. Ngayon, paano natin isusolve itong x? Yan yung aalamin natin sa mga susunod nating topic regarding quadratic equation. Okay? Yung pinakita ko lang muna is kung paano natin siya mai apply or magagamit in real life problem. Let us have some exercises para ma-practice natin at tignan natin kung meron ba tayong naintindihan dun sa ating video. Write the following in standard form, then identify the values of A, B, and C. Number one, 4x squared minus 11x is equal to 7. Write it in standard form. After that, identify the values of A, B, and C. Are you done? Yes, the answer is 4x squared minus 11x, then minus 7 is equal to 0. We will just apply um, addition property of equality. We will add negative 7 to both sides to make this equation equal to 0. Okay? Let us have the ABC. A is 4, B is negative 11, C is Good. How about this one? 3x minus 9 is equal to x squared. Can you solve this? Okay. Let's see if you got it right. The answer is x squared minus 3x Plus 9 is equal to 0. The values of A, B, and C are A is equal to 1, B is negative 3, and C is 9. So kapag ganito lang, x squared lang, may invisible 1 niya nakatabi. Kaya, ang magiging value ng A niyan is 1. Okay? Next. 6x squared is equal to 5x minus 4. What will be the answer? 6x squared minus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. This is the correct answer. And A is 6, B is negative 5, and C is Four, positive 4. Last one, 2x times the quantity x minus 7 is equal to 5. What will be the answer? The answer is 2x squared minus 7x minus 5 is equal to 0. Simplify muna natin to. Remember, this is... Um, a factored form, kaya get the product muna. And then, after having this standard form, let us identify A, B, and C. A is 2, B is negative 7, C is negative 5. So, ilan ang score mo? Dapat at least naka 3 or times 2 nga pala to. Standard form and then yung A, B, and C. So, dapat at least 6 yung ating score. See how if, how can we identify if this is an illustration of a quadratic equation? A garden 7 meter by 12 meter will be expanded by planting a border of flowers. The border will be of the same width around the entire garden and has an area of 92 square meter. So, let's say this is now a garden. Ang sukat ng garden natin is 7 meter by 12 meter. At yung kanyang border daw ay 
flowers. Tinaniman natin ng flowers to set its border. At yung border na yun is the same width ng entire garden. So, paano natin to i-susulat into quadratic equation? X is our plow flower border. And the total area around the entire garden is So let us just put 7 plus 2x is equal to with Okay, kasi may x dito Then x dito Yung kabuang haba niya 7 Ito simula rito hanggang dito 7 plus yung 2x The width Then 12 plus 2x is the length the 92 square meter is the area. So, formula in finding the area of a rectangle is length times width. Just substitute the values. 92 is equal to quantity 12 plus 2x, the yung length, times the width 7 plus 2x. Applying the FOIL method, we can get the product. 12 times 7, that is... 84, then 12 times 2x, 24x. The inner term, let us multiply 2x times 7. The answer is 14x. And then the last term, 2x times 2x, we get 4x squared. Next, simplify 24x and 14x. We add this. Since they have the same same x or same term, the answer now is 92 is equal to 84 plus 38x plus 4x squared. So, inad lang natin to. Then, we arrange it into standard form. We put 4x squared as our first term. Kasi nga, dapat quadratic term yung may x squared yung una. Followed by the linear term, the 38x. And then, negative 8. So, we simplify or we subtract 92 to 84. We get 8. And is equal to 0. We have now our quadratic equation in our word problem. So, pwede talagang may apply ang quadratic equations in our word problems. Now, we know that... Kito na, summary na natin. In writing quadratic equation in standard form, we need to, ito yung mga steps na dapat nating tandaan, find the product, applying the mathematical concepts and special products, kung written as factor, kung hindi naman, tandaan lang natin tong formula natin sa standard form, at Transform into the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, applying the addition property of equality. At tandaan nga natin na we have problems in real life that provides a realistic application of quadratic equation. So that's it. I hope na may natutunan ka sa video and lesson natin for today. Sa susunod naman na video, aalamin natin paano natin magsasolve yung value ng x ng ating quadratic equation. So stand by for my next video and see you again next time. Bye-bye!